Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's Kayla. Today I am going to be telling you my TV show Netflix recommendations. I am so excited for this video. I love Netflix, guys. It's like what my life is based around. And I have to say I have um, re-watched some of these. Um, so, I don't know. That just says something about them. But they are such great shows and I'm so excited to tell you them all. Honestly, I have a few favorites on here and you guys will be able to tell. But without further ado, please don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get into the video. So number one is Grey's Anatomy. So I absolutely am obsessed with this show. Remember when I said I had favorites? This is my favorite, guys. I'm sure you guys already know about this show because it's iconic and it's been around forever. But I'm gonna tell you about it anyways. So, it's about Meredith Grey and she is at a hospital. There's five interns. There is Meredith, Izzy, George, Alex, and Christina. So, basically they're in their intern year. They start at Seattle Grace Hospital and it's just like all about kind of all the medical work and their friendship and all of that. It's absolutely insane. I don't know how many seasons there are. Let's check. So I'm just pulling out my computer real quick so I can see how many seasons there are. I'm on season 11 episode 2. I've been watching this forever. It's, I'm just obsessed with it. There's 16 seasons. I still have five more to go. Like this is just and this is a show that I take my time with because it's just so great. Like, if you know, you know, okay? And I'll, like, say a little more about it, like, into the show. Meredith and Derek start dating, which is actually one of the higher-ups at the hospital. And then Miranda Bailey, she is the, the person that teaches them. And she is amazing. Like, I love her to death. I love her. So, definitely go watch Grey's Anatomy. And the thing with Grey's is, I don't know, it's just... There's just something so special about it. And it's one of those things where you're like, oh, wow, you know what? I kind of want to be a surgeon now because they're all surgical interns. It's like, I kind of want to be a surgeon now. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I was like, wow, I wonder how much being a surgeon is. And I looked it up. I'm like, oh, um, okay. They make it look awesome. They are so talented. Each and every one of them are talented. Number two, this one is, this one's just amazing too. I love all of these. I'm gonna keep saying this for the other eight, just so you know. So this one is How to Get Away with Murder. If you already know this show, you know how bomb the show is. So basically, there's five kids and then there's Annalise Keating. And what happens is somebody very close to Annalise dies and the kids actually kind of did it. Um, it's just, it's all insane and then I believe, I haven't watched this in forever, but I believe they told Annalise about it and then she helped them cover it up and um, I don't know if I want to tell you guys who it is or not just because that kind of defeats the purpose of watching it, but it's somebody very close to her and it's crazy. I mean, this show is like, this is one of the shows that'll just get you hooked. Like you want to keep watching. You can't just sit here and like, oh, okay, I'm just going to take a day break. You can't do that because it's that good. Like, you cannot. So definitely go check that out. That was one of my favorite shows. I binge watch all of the episodes. So the next one is, it's a really, really sad show. And it just, it gets to me because I'm not going to try to be emotional. But this one, I'm like getting chills right now. This one definitely hits in a different light. And um, if you like shows like this, then this is exactly what you should be watching. I'm looking down because that's where my computer is. But this show is called When They See Us. It honestly, it's like a show that leaves you speechless. I watched this a few months ago and it's still like not sitting right with me. And I'm sure a lot of you already know about this show, but if you don't, I'm going to read you the summary just because I don't want to forget anything. So this is a summary for it. 
In 1989, a jogger was assaulted and raped in New York Central Park, and five young people were charged with the crime. Obviously, they didn't do it. That's the whole point behind the story. They were falsely accused. Um, and they were labeled the Central Park Five. And that says um, they maintain their innocence and they spent years fighting the convictions, hoping to be exonerated. It is only one season, but it hits so close to you. Like, I know with everything that was like going on a few months ago, and obviously it's still going on, but it's just like a really, it's just a show that leaves me speechless and gives me chills because if you watch this, this will like break your heart. It's just so heartbreaking to see this happening. And I actually read um, in school, I think it was last year or the year before, about the Central Park Five. They were, you know, accused, falsely accused. And then the show comes out and, you know, I have to say, it was just so heartbreaking. And if you guys want to watch it and kind of educate yourselves and everything, definitely go do that. The trailer is like kind of planned for it right now. And it's ridiculous because nobody believed them and somebody should have. Basically what it's about, it is located in Spain, I believe, and eight of them, eight thieves, take hostages and they lock themselves in the Royal Mint of Spain. And it's this huge bank and I mean, it's insane. Like, I don't know, like half of them are dating or whatever, like it's just something. But honestly, it's crazy. The professor is super, super smart and he comes up with these crazy, crazy ideas and they just work and they work and they work. And like the police or whoever they are just like keep negotiating, negotiating while they're already like over there, like getting themselves out of the building. Nobody was even noticing. I mean, it's crazy. If you like robbery TV shows and everything like that, this show is insane. And another season is coming, it's the final season, so there will be five seasons total. But I have to say, this show was like, oh my god, like, <laughs> like they know what they're doing. <laughs> they would just go out and rob these huge, huge banks and all I'm saying is that's a little crazy. Number five is called Grand Army, and I actually just ended this show the other day. So I can't just tell you like what it's about off the top of my head. So base, it's insane. So really what happens is a bomb goes off a few blocks away from their school. They go into a lockdown, everything like that. These two boys are messing around with this one girl's wallet. They're like throwing it back and forth to each other. Um, they go, one of them goes in her bag to take it. The teacher, she's like a little crazy. She obviously has to report it and everything. And this is like a very hard school to get in, I believe. But yes, something very serious was going on, but I don't think they meant any harm by it. Obviously they were just kidding around, but I totally understand how it looked. And then what happened was the one guy just got like suspended for like a week or two. The other one, on a different note, got suspended for like six months, a year, something like that. Two months, I don't know. Just like a huge termination. And he was actually a person who would play in like the bands and everything. I mean, he was crazy good at it. And obviously he couldn't do it anymore. And that was actually when like all the people were going there, you know, like the college recruits and everything. And he had to end up going to this very, very bad school. And obviously that changed him as a person. And then his friend ended up taking his spot and he felt really bad about it because he was also in the band. He was a super talented person and that talent got wasted because he messed up one time and they kicked him out of school. It just, it sucks, you know what I mean? So definitely go check that out. But anyways, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye.